Welcome back to our channel. Hi guys. So in today's video, we're going to be sharing with you our bathroom renovation process with Victoria Plum. Okay, so this is the current state of the bathroom. We are literally getting everything completely changed in here. So obviously like the sink, the toilet, the bath is going to go. We have gone for like a all sort of all inclusive unit with the sink and the toilet. We're then obviously gonna get rid of these tiles because they're quite outdated. We have decided to go for like a monochrome theme in our bathroom, so a lot of black, white, and gray, and with a splash of color on the walls as well, which you will see. So it's not obviously a huge bathroom. It is in need of modernizing um, and freshening up. The main problem in the bathroom for me it is the toilet seat. So, I can never get the seat to stay up. As you can see there, why haven't I adjusted it? Well, for your information, I have tried that already and it just doesn't work. The design process was fairly easy, so we just did everything online. We submitted the measurements from home yeah. and eventually a surveyor came out just to check everything. But from our point of view, it was quite easy and quick and we were able to decide the items that we wanted online. Victoria Plum RA online service, they don't really have any offices or showrooms that you can go into, everything you choose is online. Yeah. Um, so once we had chosen the items that we wanted, the designer would put that into a computer graphic, uh, which would obviously show what our bathroom would look like and then he'd send that over and we could approve it or obviously make any changes. And that looked really cool, so we're yeah. really excited about this and hoping yeah. it will come out as we expect it. We discovered a problem with the ceiling, it's wet and we have to call out a roofer unfortunately. At least the lights are working. As you can see the bathtub has been fitted and it looks like a nice new modern bath, got black taps under there and as you can see there's a strip down the left centre which we didn't imagine would be there either but the fitter has told us it's not possible any other way so we're just having to go with it. We thought the shower wall panel would be more white and grey but there's a tinge of brown and it's not what we first thought it would look like but we can work around it. Welcome back to another daily update. A lot's happened since yesterday. You can see we've got new units installed, which goes well in this small bathroom. And then we have a new radiator. And then we have a new extractor fan. Okay, so day four is complete. And as you can see, we've made a lot of progress today. So we've got um, the shower now that's been fitted, along with the shower screen and got some shelves fitted along with the mirror and uh, everything has actually now been fitted in so all that is left to do now is to paint the walls and the ceiling it is filled in all the holes um, and smoothed over any sort of rough surfaces patches in the ceiling for him to British paint so yeah it's looking really good actually really excited to see the finished result now with all the walls painted and everything
see if I can pee like a man again. Hey! There you go. Look at that, it's perfect. Okay, so it's been six days and we're finally <laughs> here. Yay! <laughs> At long last, even I... though six days probably isn't that long, but it felt long. Yeah. It was a stressful week. <laughs> I feel like any upgrade would have made this bathroom look amazing the way it was before and the condition it was in before. Yeah, it really it needed some TLC pretty horrible, in there. So, yeah. yeah. How it looks right now, it kind of gives it like a five star hotel feeling. Yeah, so it's safe to say we are very happy with the end result. Yeah, we did have some hiccups along the way. That's right, we're going to bring those up in a minute. Yeah. But before we do, let's just talk about our new bathroom. Yeah. So yeah, we <laughs> obviously have gone for a we, as I said originally, a monochrome theme, but it's kind of, we've had to adapt it a bit because of the shower wall. As we said, it was going to be grey and white marble, but as it was fitted, it's actually more brown. Now I've got, you know, we've had it up for like a week. I've actually really got used to it and I really like it now. So, um, and it yeah. works well, doesn't it, with the it colours does. and stuff. So we've so gone for good. a midnight blue themed wall yeah. with white borders, so like the skirting board is white. And then we've obviously um, got black. Uh, accessories, black. um yep. the taps and everything and then the gold accents as well like in some of the decoration and things. Yeah that's right. The mirror so, is massive but actually it looks pretty cool in here. Yeah. It doesn't leave the wall so plain. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. it's just I haven't a actually... gorgeous new bathroom. <laughs> Let me finish my first. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just too excited. <laughs> yeah we haven't actually used it yet have we? There are reasons why we haven't used it isn't there? Well a couple of reasons. So we wanted to wait for the paint to dry but also we've had damp ceiling yeah. caused by the exterior wall on this side yeah. and we had to get some people out. We got three firms out to look at it. Yeah. Two of the firms said that the roof was fine and all we need doing was re-rendering the wall. One firm came out and immediately struck me as dodgy. The guy said we needed the whole roof redoing for three and a half thousand pounds. And this isn't a big room, so no. not a big roof. But um, the other two firms, have, they were also roofers and specialists, so they had a look and said, that's not the issue, it's just the wall that needs re-rendering. Yeah. So three or four things that I'd say to look out for when you get builders to come in and look at your property and give you a quote. First thing, he came out and asked, had anyone else been out to quote during that week and you know, why is he asking me if someone else has quoted I mean yeah. they're, they're not that big a firm and he wants to be sure that no one else has said oh you don't need the roof doing yeah that's you know? it he wants that's to... it he wants to make sure that his advice is consistent with his colleagues yeah the second thing was the way that he gave the quote he quoted on the spot three and a half thousand pounds mm. he didn't give me a breakdown of costs how much the materials or labour would cost and things like that so he just on the spot came up with a number with the other two companies I went to they said they needed to work it out yeah and come, come back, back to me the third thing is that we had two other opinions from experts in roofing so yeah. so yeah it's definitely important to get more than one quote and get another person's opinion basically. yeah just have patience All right and fourth and final point as he was leaving the guy said if I pay him by cash, he can drop it to £3,000. So that's £500 price drop all just of like a sudden, that. just like that. <laughs> Definitely very dodgy, made me think this guy isn't legit and I didn't want to take the risk with him. And even if he was right, um, you know, I still don't feel confident in going with him. Okay, so I'll put a few pictures up right here so you can see what the wall looked like before it was rendered and after. So Victoria Plum are the people who actually did our bathroom design. Um, design, um, yeah, that's who we went with. So would we recommend? What are our thoughts? Yeah, definitely. I definitely recommend Victoria Plum. I think they did a great job with the designs. Victoria Plum don't actually do the work; they just do the designs and the pricing and all of that. Mm. Um, but the fitter is his own kind of company, and he did a great job. I think. Um, yeah, he did a good job of fitting the bathroom itself. The only thing I would say is because we paid for the whole package, which included the painting, that clearly wasn't his main skill. Painting wasn't the best. The communication was 
awful at the time because they were yeah, it was slow, wasn't too it, busy at times. and understaffed probably. Victoria Plum were better value, their price was more competitive than Wix. That's another reason why we went with Victoria Plum. Yeah, generally I would say I do recommend them. There were a few problems, niggles along the way, but the overall result is that we're really happy with the bathroom. Thumbs up from me. And me. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching this bathroom transformation. If you did, then give the video a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for some Christmas content coming your way and take care and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm now off for a bath, so you guys need to get out of here. Bye.